All right, what's going on guys? Greg here today, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to install the Plutonium mod for Black Ops 2. So, someone asked me to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this underway for you guys. So basically, you're gonna come down here to the Black Ops 2 download, click that, you're gonna get this PIRY.exe. Now, I already had this installed, so let me go ahead and open this up real quick. It's gonna say this, Windows protected your PC. If you're on Windows 10, of course, more info, run anyways. This is gonna go ahead and pop up, type in Y, hit enter, and it's gonna start installing. So as you can see, these files here started installing. Now, I already have this installed, so I'm not gonna uh, go ahead and do do this exactly. I, I had a few papers. Let me take out these papers real quick here <laughs> for college. Um, these are everything you're going to get once it basically finishes installing everything. And then all you're going to have to do is uh, you should also download the MW3 download because it will give you. Um, where is it? Uh, plutonium updater like this right here so you get this right here plutonium updater and then once this this is really slow by the way the plutonium updater i don't know why it's so slow um i have over 300 megabits of internet but yeah it's still just so slow anyways you'll get to the black ops 2 multiplayer here this is the launcher and then you just click play it should crash on the first time that you open it um, and then if you click on it again, it should load up and you'll be in Black Ops 2 multiplayer here. And then you can do whatever you want uh, in Plutonium. It's downloading playlist right now. Let's see, server browser. Yeah, you guys can see right here. Seems like it's actually pretty populated today. Anyways. That's how you do that. Um, you should make a folder, custom folder. Which one was it that I had everything in? This one. Uh, make sure you make a new folder and before you put this file, the PIRY.exe, uh, into something. Make sure you put it in a folder uh, so it can unzip everything into the folder. And then you should just be able to install it. Now, there is one thing I want to make mention before I. Uh, uh, before I finish here and that is I do not know if you need to have the base game from Steam or whatnot installed personally I do have Black Ops 2 installed from Steam so if nothing works from this then I'm gonna say you have to have the game from Steam I don't know you guys could ask the developers on Twitter uh, plutonium mod or whatever it is their Twitter handle is, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know personally. I know for MW3 you have to have the base game, but there's cracked versions of that, which I'm not going to get into because that's illegal stuff, and I do not go over that kind of stuff. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys can get Black Ops 2 up and running, and see you guys in the next one. Peace.